hey guys welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is mickey today i am going to be chatting because i just went wait let me show you let me show you and got my first dose of the covid vaccine so i thought i would kind of talk to you guys about what that was like unfortunately they had a no photos no video policy in the vaccine clinic so i couldn't actually record myself getting the vaccine for me if you guys don't already know i am pregnant so in ontario canada where i live i'm not sure about anywhere else i can't speak about the policies anywhere else but where i live in ontario canada and the region that i live because they're all different all different rules and all that jazz they recently last week in fact added pregnancy to the list of high risk health conditions where i am the town that i live in you are able to book a vaccine if you're over the age of 65 or have a high risk health condition they recently added pregnancy to the list i didn't think that i would be getting my vaccine until like june but today is may 5th basically what i did was i went onto my region's website filled out a survey they emailed me and said based on the results of the survey you are eligible however you should speak to your doctor Doctor because you are in one of the categories that vaccine is you know safe for but there's not as much proof that it's safe basically is what it said you can book now I did book now and they gave me an appointment for today May 5th at 9 35 a.m and i did that survey and that booking stuff last week so i was so surprised that it was within a week of when i booked the appointment today i show up at the they were doing it at a ice rink and they had us fill out a quick little um covid screener on our phone it showed the covid screener i had to switch my mask from my cloth mask to a blue like disposable medical mask which i actually haven't worn one of those yet and they're really uncomfortable and then i went and stood in line and the line was very short there was only one person in front of me but as i was waiting to get checked in 20 people started lining up behind me so i was pretty grateful that i had an early appointment and i didn't have to wait very long yeah, so I got checked in, gave them my, showed them my health card. I had to prove my address. I don't drive. I don't have a driver's license with my address on it. So I had to show a utilities bill with my name and address on it, which wasn't that big of a deal. Went into the vaccine place, got in line. Again, there was no, no real line. I got seen right away. And the person went over some like questions with me. Do I have any allergies? Do I ever faint from getting vaccines, stuff like that. And then she said, are you pregnant or breastfeeding? And I said, yes, I'm pregnant. And then she was like, okay, who is your, your OBGYN who approved you getting the vaccine? And then I told her and she was like, how the heck did you get in to see that OBG? Because she's really hard to get into and she's really good. And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> My family doctor sent her a request being like, hey, this patient is pregnant. Can you see her? And then I got, an appointment like i don't know it wasn't it wasn't that hard so i don't really know what she was talking about but anyways i asked if i could take a picture and she said unfortunately there's a no picture no filming policy and gave me the give me the poke i got the pfizer vaccine the location that i was at only does the pfizer vaccine i don't know that's cool i guess interesting and then they escorted me to a little waiting area to sit down and wait 15 minutes to make sure i wasn't experiencing any adverse effects within those 15 minutes the only thing that i felt was my arm was really heavy i wouldn't necessarily say that it's like sore yet it, i'm sure it will be but my arm feels quite heavy on the car ride home i did start feeling a little drowsy and honestly like i did not sleep last night at all and my appointment, like I said, was at 9.30 this morning. So I had to get up pretty early. Um, and the place is like 20 minutes away. So pregnancy insomnia is real. So I was already kind of tired, but I definitely on the car ride home started feeling a little drowsy. I'm definitely going to go and take a nap now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's because I'm really tired. But anyways, okay, so I waited and then I went to the checkout and just confirmed my name and my email and stuff 
and they sent me an email for my second dose appointment. Again, because I live in beautiful, beautiful Ontario, Canada, my next appointment for my second dose is not going to be until August. I don't really, I don't remember the exact date. I feel like it was the 25th of August and it's at 8.55 in the morning. So <laughs> I'm grateful I don't have to stand in a huge line because it's so early, but also I don't really wake, like waking up that early, <laughs> but whatever is what it is. Uh, that's a small complaint. I'm just so grateful that I'm going to be fully vaccinated when the baby comes. I'm due at the end of October and I'll be fully vaccinated at the beginning of September. So I'm really, really grateful for that. I genuinely didn't know if I would be able to get my second dose in time because of how things are here. And I'm just so grateful because, you know, me getting vaccinated passes the antibodies to the baby. And then if I'm able to breastfeed, which I really hope I am, then I'll also continue to give antibodies to the baby. So I'm just really grateful. You know, me being fully vaccinated, the baby having COVID antibodies, not only does it protect us, but it makes me feel more comfortable with people visiting after I give birth. I don't particularly want unvaccinated people to hold the baby if I'm being honest. Everything with COVID in my experience changes so fast. Within like a couple of months, the numbers can fluctuate so much depending on what else is happening. So we'll see where we're at. I'm really hoping that because I'll be fully vaccinated and my mom will be fully vaccinated that I will be able to have her and Clayton in the room. I'm really, really hoping. Where we live, Clayton's not yet eligible to get his, which is really unfortunate and sucks a lot. It is what it is. Um, he'll get it eventually. That's that's it. That's pretty much the whole thing. I wish I could have gotten some footage, but it's kind of a bummer. A uh, little disclaimer, if there's any like anti-vax nonsense going on in the comments, I'm going to straight up delete it. Anyways, I'm so tired and I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna make a snack, probably a bagel with cream cheese, super fascinating. I'll check in later just to give you guys updates if I have any symptoms or anything. I don't really expect anything to happen. I mean, sore arm and drowsiness is like the number one side effects and I have that already. So I'm sure that that's probably gonna be it, but I'll check in with you guys. I know a lot of people are curious about what it's gonna be like to get it if they haven't already. So yeah, that is it. Peace. Hey guys, so I'm just brushing my hair because I'm about to go to Tim Hortons, but I'm officially over 24 hours past getting my vaccine first dose and I can safely say that I'm not having a super negative reaction so that's really nice. <laughs> I was a bit worried because um, some people get like flu-like symptoms um, including a, a fever and getting a fever when you're pregnant is not ideal. I did not get a fever so the legitimate only symptom that I did get is a sore arm. My arm from like here to I'd say like there is really, really sore. Um, it hurts a lot when I lift it. When I'm just chilling, it doesn't really hurt that bad, but yeah, when I lift it, it's not, not super fun. It is what it is. I'm so grateful that that is what happened. You know, it could have been much worse. I could have felt way more gross, but yeah. I'm really grateful. It's the only thing that happened and as far as I'm aware it's like the most common symptom as well. Hopefully this video was at least somewhat interesting and informative. Yeah, nothing really happened. I just <laughs> got the shot. My arm hurts. That's it. So <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. That's the update and that is it for today's video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, press the subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.